What's going on guys, it's your boy James with Beards and Cars, back with another video, and in this video guys, we're in my bathroom, and anytime we're in the bathroom, you guys know, pretty much cutting some off the beard, so, this is not something I'm sure if I want to do or not, but nonetheless guys, it will grow back, so, what I've been thinking about is cutting my beard back to the length that it was, probably around like 12 to 14 months, something around that length, um, it's just, uh, it's been a while, and right now my beard is not really brushed. It's just, you can see it's real messy. There's a lot of scraggly flyaways. Some of these hairs are uh, way longer than the others. You know, like this one here is super long compared to the ones right beside it. And, uh, yeah, man, I just feel like I want to take some years off my beard, man. Maybe, I don't know, maybe something like that. Um, I don't know, guys. I really, really love my beard but i know at the end of the day it will grow back so right now i just feel like it's gotten to the point to where i just feel like it's kind of messy and uh i feel like it looks kind of scraggly you know unless i style it all day every day i pretty much uh there's something about it that just bothers me first, you know first thing in the morning it looks horrible to me rolling around the covers the covers just constantly doing this literally feels like my beard's on fire and itching and um you know i just feel like it's time to cut it you know it's 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 something that'll grow back it's not that big of a deal and at the end of the day uh you just have to take that in and realize that it will grow back you know and for somebody like me that's been you know growing my beard for a long time and i did, have done like little health trims and stuff like that um it's a lot to take in because, you know, thinking of cutting my beard from where it's at now up to here is just really not ideal to me. It's uh, it's kind of scary, to be honest with you, and uh, we're going to go through it together. I'm going to try not to talk too much as I start cutting uh, like I usually do. I usually talk while I'm cutting. This time, it's probably going to be a really long video, so I'm going to just try to cut it and get it to a length that I like. And you know what? If I don't like it, I'll just grow it right back out to where it is now. Uh, or maybe longer, but honestly, I feel like my beard has stopped growing. I don't know because I look at it every day, but I feel like my beard has stopped growing and it is probably a little damaged right now. So a big, nice health cut, health cut is uh, probably something that it needs. So if you guys see me cutting, I might actually cut into the sides of the beard. You know, I haven't really done this in very many of my videos, except for in the very beginning when I was first growing my beard, I would cut into these sides. And right now, uh, I'm probably going to do that again. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but this is something I haven't done in a long time because I've been growing my beard for length. So I want all this to come down as far as I can get it. And right now, I want to cut it more for style. So I want it to look good uh, no matter what. So uh, whether I style it or not. So I might cut into these sides a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, nonetheless, guys, with that being said, here we go. Um if you guys didn't want me to cut my beard, please don't hate on me, guys. It's just something we all go through. It'll all grow back, and that's part of the journey, baby. So I have to learn that myself that this is part of the journey. I honestly told myself that if I messed my beard up, that I would cut it all the way down to probably like a number five. You see what I'm saying? And that means cutting it all off pretty much. So I told myself if I, if I mess my beard up, I would cut it all the way back down just so I can see and feel some of my skin again. Not down with a razor ball, but, <clears throat> you know, maybe like a number three, number four, number five, something like that. But nonetheless, guys, here we go. We're about to take a big chunk out of this because uh, that's just what I feel like doing. And to be honest with you guys, <clears throat> I'm a little nervous, so I'm going to do my best. And also, this Brio Zero Gap, I'm going to be trying to use this a lot during this video. Because when you use the regular guard, you have to push on your beard more. So this one here, I've been cutting my head with this. And this one here, you don't have to push as much when you're trimming uh, like you do with this one here. Because the the, the actual, that, that gold part right there is zeroed out to where it pretty much clips as soon as it hits. And this one, no matter where you adjust it to, it just won't do that. You have to push into your beard. And then you start messing up the way your beard looks as you're cutting it. So, um, which for this case may or may not matter. But I'm going to start out with this one. So, I'm going to put this on right now. 
like I said, guys, I'm going to try not to talk too much while I'm cutting. So that way um, I can get in here and edit the video and try to do some fast forward. And because I know the video is going to be long, guys, I'm already at five minutes now and I haven't even got started. But uh, those of you that's watching and those that watch the whole video, man, I really appreciate it, guys. This is this really takes a lot to even do. Let me let me just let you know that real quick. It takes a lot to be able to do. All right. <clears throat> So, I'm going to blow dry up under here a little bit, but I'm only going to do that to pull out some of these hairs that are real curled up. See, because if you look, I can pull these hairs down. This is the hairs from my neck. I can pull these down real low. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. I've been sick for a couple weeks now. Uh, I'm actually chewing on the halls. But, um... Anyways, these hairs, I need them to come down a little bit. I don't need them to be tucked way up in there and hidden. So I'm going to blow dry under here just a little bit. But I want to try to leave the front uh, just kind of in its natural state as much as possible, right? And then if I start cutting and I don't like it, then I'll start blow drying and cutting to that, you know, cut like that. But let's just go here. You guys might be seeing some danger blowing off just because, whoo, look at that right there. Might be seeing some danger blow off just because that's pretty much how it goes. You know, you, my beard is um, here lately just been kind of dry. I don't know if it's the weather or what, but it's just been dry, itchy, and that's part of why I want to cut it, you know. Uh, I would absolutely love, you know, to uh, just cut it down to like a number three. Just cut it pretty much all, not to the skin, but just cut it back down to where it's only like, like maybe like two months worth of length, you know, something like that. And uh, it just start over, you know. It don't hurt to start over, guys. Man, I know this is going to be a long video. If I can make it through it. If my camera records that long. But uh, anyways, we're about to say bye to most of this beautiful beard, all right? So, I'm thinking about maybe right here. I don't know. Maybe I should start a little lower. Maybe, basically, where I got this right here, where this side, well, I can't say right there because this actually straightens out a lot. But I'm thinking, like, maybe, like, right here. Maybe like that. So, let's just start. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start on the front and go back. Zero gap. For real. All right, guys, here we go. Man. I'm going to say, like, right here. Woo, boy, that's tough. So basically what that's doing is creating a lot of anxiety, taking that much out of it, and uh be honest with you, whew, it's making where I can't breathe, guys. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna keep going though. Definitely the biggest beer trim that I've done, right? <clears throat> Definitely the biggest beer trim I've done. So let's keep going at it. We're just going to keep rolling and shaping this. And hopefully I can come to something that I like, all right? I would like to try to cut it just a little bit more up. And I don't know if I'm going to do that yet or not because I feel like I'm already immediately regretting this decision. But we'll see at the end of the video.
Venga. That's a lot. That's a lot already, but uh, you know what? I'm not hating it. I got a lot of work to do still right here, but that's a good start. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. That's a good start for me right there. So let me brush this out. God, it feels so different just to brush through it. It's like this brush goes through it like nothing. It's just easy. There's no, not really more, any more tangles, you know, my, my um, brush was getting caught a lot before, man. When you trim your beard, guys, it, it actually feels absolutely amazing. It's just your comb or brush will go, go through there like butter, man. All right, I got a lot of fly away, so this is what we're working on now. A few knots right there, but those are from underneath. These hairs all through here. No matter what I do, I just keep getting like, kind of like flyaways, like stragglers. But <clears throat> the reason being is because I'm not, I haven't blow dried my beard. So uh, if I was going to keep my beard and not uh, blow dry it, you know, after this cut, then what I would do is just basically just brush through it or comb through it. Just however, just real quickly and however it lays. That's how it lays. So what I would do is I wouldn't blow dry it at all. I would just uh, brush through it like this and then trim a little bit just to get rid of some of those flyaways. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. And if I don't like it and it keeps getting <clears throat> these flyaways here and there, and then what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and blow dry it, get it over with, and uh, try that route. And sometimes you have to kind of, uh, you'll get these longer ones out in the front and you have to take your clippers and kind of just, kind of just roll that edge. Instead of letting it be straight like that, you got to kind of roll that edge right through the outer edge to get rid of it. And then what I'll do is sometimes I'll come back and I'll wait just to see if there's any there. And then I'll take scissors like this and just trim those off. But what I'm going to do is, so I don't cut, mess around and cut my beard way up here, I'm going to uh, blow drop through it just like once, maybe twice underneath and then on the outside, just to see what it looks like and get some of these hairs that I can't see that are actually uh, being pushed up. So that's what I'm going to do now. See that length that came out from the back see that so what i'm going to do here is uh here in a minute i'm going to brush i'm going to pull this up and i'm actually going to cut back here because that that just kind of irritated me to see that to know that i cut all this and this is still hanging out down here so look at that even though i cut straight through I still have all this hanging out. 
And if any of you guys watched any of my old videos, you would notice that I pulled this up and I always start at the back because of this reason, because this is what will happen. But the reason I didn't do that this time was because I was, you know, in my mind, I was certain that if I just cut all the way back through, I would get that. And obviously you can see it didn't. So those of you that watch my other videos and see me pulling this up and cutting it back first, this is why right here. Obviously, you can see I got it that time, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, blow dry back through it one more time. <clears throat> see what we're working with. Now, that looks a lot better. Still got a few more under there I'm gonna get. And don't worry guys, if there's any hairs that are hanging down or whatever I can't see in this video, I've got OCD, and I will go back and get them after I do this video. I'll go back and get every single little straggler. You know, I may not see something right now as I'm cutting this, looking in this mirror over here, because I got a camera here and a mirror over here, so I might not see it while I'm cutting it, but I'll eventually see it. Uh, probably as I cut the video or whatever and start looking under here. That was kind of a little bit. I just can't see. This is like surgery for me, man. Now what I need to do, <clears throat> I need to get in here and do a little something with this, with this back here, because as you can see, I'm really not cool with that. It's going a little too far back, and I don't know how you guys can see it, but from my point of view, it's uh, it's way too, it's it's going back too far. I don't like it. And since I trim my beard to look good in basically any shape or any style, preferably when I wake up in the morning, hopefully it looks good. But since I did that, we're going to uh, we're going to mess with this back here. And I hate doing this because this part right here is actually real important. But it's more important when your beard is longer. To me, anyways. It's more important when it's longer than when it's short, to me. Alright. So, that's what we got. I'm trying to keep my shirt right here where you guys can see that. That's what we got. And we gotta, uh, we gotta do something with this. So, some of this is longer. Way back here, it's actually a lot longer than this. And it's because when I hit it with the clippers, it's uh, getting pushed back and it's not getting cut. So we're gonna try to cut it now.
I feel like I'm butchering my beer when I'm doing that. <clears throat> Man, I need like a surrounded mirror thing because the more I hold my eyes like this, trying to look over there, my eyes are hurting. And all I'm trying to do is get a little bit of roundness out of this so it's not going way back. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to make it perfect. Uh, when I style it, it'll look, it'll look good. I'm just trying to make it where it's not going way back like that. <clears throat> this is what you probably wouldn't do if you were growing your beer for length. I wouldn't anyway. And those of you that know me well know that I like my beard to be tapered down a little bit. Not sure why, I just like that look. So that's what I'm going for. I'm not trying to get too much of a taper, just enough. And it's all in how you roll those clippers, man. Sometimes I start back here and I just kind of roll them around like that to get that edge. <clears throat> Here, everywhere, guys. I'll come through here. Let's see what we got. Brush it out. Because I wanted to lay as natural as I can without blow drying it so much. So, what do we look like over here? My hair a little bit. Not bad, not bad. I think I'm pretty much done with this out of here. <clears throat> all right, so what we got here? Got a couple of flowers. Can't get all of them at once, guys. But what we have there is a nice little shape for what I like anyways. And you can see the difference. I'll roll my head slow. Look at that. That's what we got rid of, right? So once I put some product in here, this should look pretty good. All right, got hair all over the place, even in my eyes. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna focus on making this side look like this. Give my eyes a break, now I can look over here. If you're doing this, be careful to quit touching the same areas. But what I'm seeing is a few flyaways, so I'm trying to get them now. And then <clears throat> tomorrow or later on this afternoon after I wash my beard, uh, I'll go back and I'm sure I'll have a few more. And I'll knock those little ones off. Instead of trying to get them all at one time and messing my beard all up.
Excuse me, I gotta hold my mouth to try. Once again, I'm making sure I get all those hairs from back behind out. That's what I'm trying to do. Damn, this video is almost an hour long. Definitely want to tell to do some fast forwards in there. Man, it feels weird not to be able to grab my beard and actually pull it down like that. It feels weird. guys I'm gonna have to uh... ooh, ooh. I'm doing a no no cutting the sides like I shouldn't be doing but since my beard is shorter I need to get in here and knock a little bit of this on
guys. No products. No products, just a nice trim. Like I said, I'm sure I'll probably have some little flyaways here and there and I'll come back and nibble them all day long or the next day <clears throat> with a pair of scissors, but that is my big beard trim for 2022. To me, that's big and I'm glad I didn't mess up because I told myself if I messed up, I was just gonna start cutting into it and cut it really short. Might do that in a later video because at some point in time, I really would like to just start over from scratch. I don't know what it is. It's just something about it. Just makes me want to start over and enjoy the whole journey again. But for right now, that was a major, major <clears throat> beard trim. And it feels so good to have my beard short again. And it just feels lighter on my face. It looks cleaner, in my opinion. Now, I know there's some people that ain't going to like it. Some people that might hate on it. But personally... Uh, it's not all that bad. It really don't bother me that much to see it like this. It makes me feel just a little bit more cleaner. So yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. If you're watching this video still at this point in time, I know it's extremely long, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. I love each and every one of you guys. And if you've ever done a beard trim like this from the length I was at up, let me know what you thought about it. It was really mind wrecking at first, but nonetheless, I got over it. And I'll probably do a little bit more trimming after the video is over. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Let me get some of this hair right here and put it in the sink. I'm gonna show you guys what actually I cut off. It always feels like so much, but it's really not as bad. So that's what I cut off. Yeah. So it looks like a tremendous, tremendous amount, but in all reality, it wasn't that much, guys. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, I will go back and do a, a little bit more shaping up on it. Get my shirt off and go through it. Pull this up, get the back side of it a little bit more, make sure I got all them long hairs out of the way. Uh, it would probably actually look better at this length if I took and uh, cut my neckline up maybe an inch or so. It would probably look a lot better as far as these hairs coming out from the back sticking out. Um, but I'm not going to, probably not more than likely not going to do that. What I'll probably do is raise this up and trim my ne very bad neckline about a half inch to an inch higher than where it is right now. And hopefully that looks perfect. But with that being said, guys, I love each and every one of y'all. I'll see y'all on the next one.